Hey everybody, today's presentation is on one of my favorite companies that nobody knows anything about, Arex. I've done a lot with Arex, and this is on a new, pretty much a new pistol that nobody has. So I've done a lot on Arex before Slovenian in Europe, uh, and uh, I think their quality is great. They do stuff for the military and whatnot, but a lot of people still don't know about them. The first shot, 2.52, 2.52, two A's. 272, but I made sure they were clean. So that is a leather light pin needing incapacitation. I'm very happy under the 275 from concealment. 3.65, woo! Baby, I, think I did the Arex Delta Gen 1. It's the highest capacity to weight and size ratio pistol there is. And then the Gen 2 came out with a little different grip texture and also optics ready versions. I've done videos on all those. There's the competition known in uh, pistol, known in Europe, the Arex Alpha, which I said John Wick had Batman make him a pistol. It looks really, really cool. Then they had the Zero Ones come out, which is a traditional DASA auto. And uh, you can find those in stores and you can find them online for pretty cheap, but the grips are a little too thick for most people. If you look at these cool cheetah grip here, this is a Gen 2 or a 02S for standard size. Standard size meaning a 4.3 inch barreled pistol. The differences are mostly the grip, which now this feels amazing in my hand with a lot of grip texture. I like it with wonderful front grip uh, texturing with a flared magazine well, and with the same sight cut as Delta Gen 2s, which can take uh, their uh, night sights and uh, stuff like that. They already put on night sights for me. So I want to thank Global Ordnance for sending this out to test and evaluate, put serious spaces. I got a new Tagwa uh, four style holster. I got a weird outside waistband. Now this is a little thick pistol for it and a brand new holster, but I'm going to try it out in that brand new Tagwa holster. So I'm glad they happened to send me that yesterday. And uh, let's see how she does, guys. A really traditional DASA Auto, 31.5 ounces with an empty magazine. A traditional DASA uh, with a decocker, which is also the slide stop release, slide release. So slide release and the same button down like on a SIG is also the decocker. Uh, and uh, ambidextrous magazine release. Come stock, it is empty. Come stock with a 13 pound ish trigger quarter. It's pretty smooth and stacks at the end like a good revolver. I think I'll do my 15 yard uh, Jack Wilson drills maybe pretty well with that. And the single action, no problem at all. I like the reset. It's a little long maybe, but not for me. Uh, compared to other things, I think it's great. And if you want to make it super duper, they just came out with a flat face trigger and a uh, short reset trigger kit for it and all that. So, uh, Arex, let's see how she does. All right, guys, only one here right now. Enclosed range, set up at 10 yards. Zombie going for some brains on the right to begin with. Rog 124. I just want to show you the decock and the slide release is the same button. Okay. Stepping up the 10 yard line. DA only, first few shots. Not sure where I'm hitting. There's zombie. You gotta figure out the hold on these night sights. I got night sights put on. Hmm, can't get slide lock back. Okay, let's see what I did. So you got five there, but I'm pulling way left, so I definitely gotta work on it a bit. It's unfortunate I didn't have this before I made my full-figured, full-size, full-figured models. The full-figured models where I compared three full-size DASA autos, and then I did it at the range with the uh, military's M1152 uh, Winchester round, the hot round. Uh, so make sure you check those out as well. And DA versus SA Part 2 is about to come out for this smaller CCW carry. So if you like DASA stuff, hit me a thumbs up, drop me a comment, and all that. Now at 7 yards, I'm just going to do single action. Only. Okay, single action only. See if the sights are on. I think they're set at a combat hold. Seven yards. Real small head there. Hostage taker on left. Let her go, man. Let her go.
Dead center, so combat hold. Let it go, man! Let's go, go! Let it go! All right, I think I saved the true leader and saved the world with the Airx 2s So, I saved the cheerleader, I saved the world. I always kind of lean a little way for some error to not get the hostage right in case there's a sudden last movement. These first three were here and those three there. So, six there, it's a very, very small. That's like, uh, you know, less than two inches. Okay, probably won't be the most exciting, but I'm gonna do really slow fire two shot drills, DA to SA transition. Uh, because I think a trigger reach uh, might be making me throw the DA shots a little left. So I'll go on the guy on the left, out on the left. Combat hold, I think, in the heart. Okay, two in the heart, both a little bit left, G cocking. Boom, better, both hitting the spine. Decocking. I'm going from a generic leather inside waistband holster now, panic style. Uh, yeah, my belly's a little too big for it, probably. I'm pretty, pretty bad. And that felt a little bit better. They're all pretty tight, and now I can rock and roll a little bit more with a two shot drill. So, five out of the six there in the heart, so I think I can pick up the cadence now. All right, guys, quick thoughts so far. I'm going to keep going, but it feels very good in my hands. Uh, I think the balance is very, very good. I like the balance. I like the grip. I like the ergos. you got to turn it a little far to hit the slide stop, uh, slide release, slash decocker. I wish that wasn't quite the case, but it is an improvement over the zero one. The front... Uh, stippling on the front of the grip strap is very, very good. Magazine whelp, that's nice that that is now beveled. Uh, and a great looking pistol. I love the look of the grips. I think it looks great. It's performing flawlessly so far, both with Gen 2 and original Gen 1 mags. FYI, I didn't say that earlier. And uh, this so far seems like this could be a great option. I'm, I think pretty soon they'll be importing optics ready versions, which I'm sure a lot of you nowadays are going to want. And hopefully there's a 2C, a 2 compact, which I get two and three quarters. I don't like being a pinky dangler on the one C, the one compact. I get two and three quarters of my pinky. So probably enough. Still don't like that so much, but maybe a compact version is coming, but OSP version is definitely coming. So, so far so good. Let's keep her going. All right, guys, let's get going with some two-shot drills, and I'll alternate from middle, left, and right. Um, I want to say again, thanks for Tagwa to send this holster. I was surprised I got it yesterday, and if it wasn't for that, this would be a hard range day because this is a nice, expensive kind of pistol. I don't want to scratch up. Unfortunately, a lot of my other jig slide type holsters and leather holsters, if the barrel's exposed, the stupid button on the Levi's, I'm sure it bugs a lot of guys, uh, of you guys, scratches up all my pistols. So uh, this is long enough, actually, surprisingly, to cover uh, the barrel. So I'm lucky today. So there we go with that. All right, seven yards, two-shot drill, just so you can see some recoil. And to make it more difficult, the girl, even though it looks like she would actually physically be a tall girl, I lowered her down in stature so her height's a little bit lower than the uh, other two BGs. Okay. A and maybe lower A, touching the line. So inner A, they're both A zone. Uh, but I like to hold myself to the inner A or A plus, like Sage Dynamics does, on the targets from Targets Online. All right, going for the left target. Uh, I think those are both A's, though I didn't have the best sight picture on the first pull. I think they're both in the heart. And I'm at seven yards, so I'm starting to get a feel for the pistol. Target on the right. It was a little faster there, one in the heart, one just uh, touching the bottom of the A-plus zone in the lung. Go for the middle again. A 
A pluses. So starting to pick up the cadence. Well, the second one I let go. I don't know if those are all going to be perfect A zones or not. Uh, so that was five two shot drills. So on her three in the A plus, I'm going to start calling it the inner A box. The try and hold yourself to even a higher standard of good. You know, upper thoracic, heart, and spine type shots. And one just a little bit low, but all A-zone on this, like a USPSA type target. These targets provided by Targets Online. Thank you very much. Three, no, four. All four in the inner A-zone here. There's two shots there on the heart and spine. Another in the heart. And one uh, there. That's a pretty small box. I should measure that someday. And uh, one A plus and one A there. So A plus on the hard spine and one just a little there. So I was able to start picking up the tempo pretty nice. All right, seven yards. Let's see if I can get a gate white dark pin or even better. Uh, but the, the new brand new leather holster and it's made for like Glocks and MMP 45. So it's made for, I think, a slightly a smaller slide. It's going to slow my draw down a bit. But let's see what I can do. It's comfortable though. And it can go inside waistband, outside waistband, a small block, back. No one should do that. And I think cross draw. It's a four-way holster. Uh, I'm really glad I got it. Okay. Seven yards. Here we go. Wow, did I freeze in the beginning. <laughs> I froze before that first shot. Ooh, not awesome. But felt great in recoil after that. Yeah, 190 to first shot. That should have been a 17. Uh, and I hesitated. 22 split, 25 split, 24 split, 24 split, 24 split. I think they're all in. It felt good. It feels very good in recoil. Um, that felt good. And this is pretty hot 124 Raug ammo. Raug, Raug. Okay, let's see the hits. And that was slow, 1.9 the first shot. It definitely should have been quicker. Uh, but 3.09 overall, which isn't bad. And so for a first run from a new holster, 3.09 is well under the 3.75. That's a dark pin pass with all easy A zones. I mean, that was easy. Uh, two are in the A+, plus, but all are in a pretty good uh, area. Um, so that tells me already, I think it's a very good pistol for law enforcement, military, uh, etc. Um, so 309 is good. If, it, if I was faster on my draw, that would be a 275. If I was faster at a first shot, that could be a 275 light pin pass, but that's a dark pin pass well under 375. But your very first attempt, that's pretty darn good. Let me try and go a little bit faster. She will run fast. She will run fast. These have felt fast. 1.69 the first shot. That's better. I am slow to first shot, guys. Uh, 2.89. Man, I was hoping. I think those hits are in. 22 split, 23 split, 24 split, 26 split, 25 split. So about 23, 24 splits. Um, 22 to 25. 2.89 overall. Not under the 275 quite yet. But 289 with five in the A plus zone, i.e. hitting the heart and spine, basically. Five in the A plus zone, one still, that's this like US PSA style, that's still there. 2.89 with five out of the six in the A plus zone. I'd say that's that's pretty damn good. 1.69. Uh, so obviously there's guys that could have dropped that under one and a half. Uh, a lot of guys with a faster draw. If I had an appendix... Kite X holster, less drag, um, and that was better, right? Um, that could easily be under the 275. Just dropping to 1.5, that would be the 19 needed. Not even 19 needed, 14. 14 needed to get it to a light pin run. So uh, the pistols definitely handle the recoil. I mean, that those five are very tight, those five out of six. Um, <laughs> this pistol's starting to, starting to run now. It's starting to impress me. <laughs> Drill, seven yards, Mozambique. <laughs> Horrible grip. It still rolled it enough to make his own hits. Uh, two, nine, I need under 
315, it's still dark pin bass, I think. Yeah, I, th I believe dark pin is 315, lights two and a half. I was going for that two and a half, got a bad grip. Uh, totally with a bad grip and no sight picture. I got two inner A box and a good headshot in the four inch circle. So uh, A plus, and there, three A's or two A plus. Uh, and uh, what, two nine I said, I think. So that's that's pretty good. I can even do better. Let's do better. Go faster, baby, faster, baby. Uh, I had to bring the barrel down for the headshot. I had overswung it. I think that might have killed me in time. 2.8, point zero five off of the 275 for a light pin pass. Uh, pistol still stiff with 2.8. Let's, that little readjustment at the end might have hurt me. 2.8 plus 0.25. So A plus. And last second I was up here and had to pull down. I was over swinging up a little too fast, trying to push it fast. I got to get better at being able to go bum, bum, bum with less of a B in between. Uh, but one was too low. Though technically, I think that would be a B on a USPSA and a 2.5. I think that still would have been a light pin. Or, I'm sorry, a dark pin run 2.8 plus 2.5, 3.05, still under the 3.15. All right, this will be my third attempt at the failure. Draw the first two of dark pin passes. The, the last one, I picked up ten, a tenth of a second but I threw a shot, still B zone, still made it a dark pin pass. Not as happy about that, but that's kind of where I'm at right now in my own training is trying to push myself uh, like Gabe White says to. So, I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, 2.54. Please tell me those are A-zone hits. 164, that's faster for me from outside the waistband. That's actually pretty fast for me. I definitely got to get a faster draw. That's what I need to work on. The 21 split hurt me last time instead of the 24 splits, dropping them both in the A-plus zone. Last time the 21 was too fast. I don't know if this was. 254 is well under the... No, it's not. 2.5 for light pin anyway. <laughs> And you only get two attempts when you're doing the real deal and the blue tape changes and then whatnot. But anyway, uh, on the spine, on the spine, both A zone. So all A's and a better headshot, all A zone, good T-box shot. That's in the eyeball. That's pretty good in 2.54. So I ain't at the 2.50 yet for a light pin pass, but that's a much better dark pin pass and pushing myself getting there. And I've, I've made a few light pin pass. If you look at my... Uh, 357 verse 45 part two video. I made three light pins in a row for the first time. Um, so, so far for a new pistol and the leather holster, new holster, not broken in, slowing me down a little bit. Uh, I'd say the pistol's doing really good. I love the pistol. I think it can do really fast uh, splits uh, and you can run it and it handles recoil really well. All right, first attempt at immediate incapacitation and it's DAS, I remember. Two point five two, one point nine seven a first shot. That's slow. Two five two. That seems uh, okay. Fifty five to the next shot. From concealment, brand new leather holster outside waistband. That does slow you down. Two five two is actually smoking. I just did two A zone on top of each other. Two point. I think it was five two. Yeah, two point five two. Let me show you. And I thought that was slow to the first shot. It felt slow to the first shot. Two point five two. Two point five two. Two A's, uh, I was well under, from concealment, is 325, 325 from concealment for dark pin, and way under the 275 for a light pin. So I just had a light pin run with a brand new pistol, and that makes me very, very happy and says some good things about the Zero 2S. 
All right, I gotta say I'm pretty happy. I've only done these Game Boy drills what, like three times now. <laughs> um, and uh, that's the first time making it with a DA essay and doing that transition, especially on the media and capacitation, those two on top of each other with a DA essay and a 2.52, I think is pretty impressive and speaks good things about the A-Rex, um, the A-Rex 02S. Uh, guys, I'm really big on Eric's. They, I don't really have an association with it. I wonder if they know who I am or anything. I just think they're great and nobody knows about them. Uh, so I'm very happy with this so far. I think this is something uh, going to be prized possession. And uh, no failures at all. It's been perfect. And it's been perfect with different magazines, including the Gen 2 magazine and the 1S magazines as well. So... Hey, that's a bonus. Mags are hard to find, so keep that in mind. You might end up buying uh, two pistols. Uh, Compact Zero One doesn't that bad. I might see if they make a Compact Zero Two. In fact, this is pretty comfortable. I could carry this in this uh, this holster. It's pretty comfortable, and I'm getting pretty damn good draws by finding that nice high beaver tail. I'm sticking right in there, and that is definitely definitely helping. All right, back to work. Back to work. Ah, fucking miss. It's a full second down, and it's not good enough anyway, because I want to hold myself to a higher standard. So I don't care. That was 2.58, though. 2.58, so pretty close to my 2.52 before. Um, let's see how bad the hits were. All right, am I being too hard on myself? I don't find that to be an acceptable hit. I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, that's a line break, which totally counts. So this is down 2.5. So 2.58, 2.58 plus 2.5 is what, a 2.83? Yeah, 2.83. So that just bumps it up from the light pin to the dark pin. So that's a dark pin uh, run, unfortunately. And I, I don't want that. I want that and that. I, I want that and that, actually. Um, but that's not bad. I'm doing really good with this pistol. I'm going to run immediate incapacitation a third time. Very slow on that trigger. I was a little on the cheekbone and I wanted a better headshot. See if I got the times. 2.72, not bad, under the 275. All right, 272, but I made sure they were clean. So that is a leather light pin mini incapacitation. I'm very happy under the 275 from concealment. Because I was aiming down here, I took that extra beat. I could have been way faster on the trigger but I made sure I brought it up before I let off the two. Uh, so 272, light pin pass. All right, first attempt at the split build drill, which is four to the body, two to the head, uh, with the ARX 02S, 02S, AWX. Wah! Wah! Whew, baby. All right. Felt pretty good. Bouncing around a bit. 3.65. Oh, man. Tell me I got my first light pin on an immediate like, pass station. 169 to first hit. 24 split. 25 split. 23 split. 71 transition to the head. And 53 for the last one to the head. 3.65. Woo, baby! I think that might be my first light pin. I've done three light pin before. No, I've done one before. Uh, in the uh, the 40, 357 of 45 part two video, I did uh, two immediate castation light pins with the 45, and then my first um, split bill drill with the 45. This is only my second light pin pass, uh, and the first time ever attempting it with this brand new to me pistol and brand new holster. Um, so in 365, that's clean under 375 from concealment. 375 or under from concealment for a light pin pass. Uh, that was smoking hot. And these are very, look at these four are very tight, guys. I am loving this pistol. One, two, three, four. Three out of the four. I mean, that is a literal grouping from seven yards. 
three out of four in the A plus zone. Okay. All four are very close to each other, and these two are very close to each other in the headshots. So clean and 3.65, and 3.75 is the goal, or 4.95 for dark pin. And even dark pin is probably pretty hard. It was the first time uh, I attempted it. Um, this pistol, this Eric 02S, I would want, and I think they're already making it for a certain military organization, I would want the optics ready with a longer threaded barrel and be very, very happy if that was my go-to and I was in any kind of uh, SF group, I would definitely look into it. If you're an SF, if you're a group, if you're budgeting, if you're someone, I don't know, a smaller group somewhere, I think it probably runs really good with a can and a red dot. I would think it would be a very badass setup. Obviously, I don't do things like that, but uh, I think it would be really good. All right, let me do my second attempt at a split bill drill, seven yards. Just got a light pin pass run. <laughs> yeah, all kinds of things happen there, but I went with it. 3.76! You thought you did 3.75 or under for a leap in pass. 3.76, even if I made the hits. Uh, that was interesting because I thought the camera turned off and I looked up into the right. Um, and not my best hits, but all clean. All clean A zones in 3.76. You, some bitch. 0 0.01 off from another second light pin pass in a row. Uh, hits are. Not my best. One, two, three, four, but technically all four A zone, five, six A zone on top of each other. Perfect head box shots. So you can't complain about that. Two on top of each other. Um, and 3.76, 1.71 one to first shot. So I made 1.69 draw the first time, I think, to first shot. So that's, you know, what's slowing me down is I'm not the fastest draw guy. And I should probably work on that. But guys that say you got to have a striker fire gun, you got to have a red dot, uh, you got to carry appendix. Like, I've done a lot of light pin runs and all the rest dark pin run passes with a brand new DASA auto. Uh, today, from a brand new, so it's kind of slow, it's dragging outside waistband leather holster. Um, so just keep that in mind, huh? Yes, I'm doing a third attempt. Why? Because 0.01 over that man when I looked up at the camera and everything. I want another light pin pass. Third attempt. I know those headshots were high a little bit. I was looking over the sights. 3.73, I sped up. I got under the 3.75. 1.66, that was my best draw to first shot. 24 split, 26 split, 22 split. 68 transition to the head, that's a little faster. And a 67 after that's a little slower. I don't even know if they're, oh no, I don't think it was clean. 3.73, 3.73. It wasn't clean. Three very good hits here. One, two, Three, two perfect on top of each other headshots, but one outside. This is like the A zone, uh, the official like a USBSA target. So that would be a B, a minus two five. It's still easily a dark pin pass. 3.73 plus two five is what a 3.98, way under 4.95. So it's still easily a dark pin pass, easily good enough to defend your life with. Uh, but I just really wanted it. I just really wanted it. Let's do some rock and roll. We'll finish it up. It's starting to get dark. Getting dark, time to shred from the modified car position, which I love, and I do think there's many uses for it. Eat your heart out, grand thumb, and look at my Techniques of John Wick videos that's floating around out there. All right. So far, so good. Searching, searching, searching.
Um, I had thumbs grip. I don't know if I've ever, if I've been getting slide lock back on this today. Sometimes yes, sometimes no, or no most of the time. I don't even know. Uh, let's see how my hits were. I didn't set off the timer. All right, I'm bad cheek. I got four in the A plus zone, five in the A there. So five A's and uh, kind of a bad head shot there. We got two in the small A box. That's pretty small. Is that like six inches? That's, that's really small. I got to measure this from the heart in there, in the aorta type thing, or, you know, artery, whatever. Here is pretty good. One pretty low. So two really good, two so-so on -so. Uh, bad guy over there. I got one in the A+. Plus. I got four A zone over here and a very good headshot. So all of them down. Uh, even this guy probably down for good, maybe, you know. But anyway, guys, um... What do I think of this excellent pistol? I think you can tell. Uh, I feel like I can tread with it. I feel like it's very fast. 31.5 ounces with an empty mag. 28 without the mag, I think. Um, so you, you're looking at territory of a lot of other DASA autos. You know, P228s, M992s, uh, etc. Even those are getting up a little bit higher unless it's a Centurion, etc. But I feel like this is fast. If you just looked at my... Full, full figured models video. I compared three of the bigger DASA pistols. I kind of feel like this is faster for me than a 92. Um, at least up close and personal. Faster for me than a 92. Maybe faster for me than my John Wick P30L long boy. Isn't it sexy? Look at those grips. Uh, anyway, guys, thumbs up, share, subscribe. You probably haven't seen a lot of videos on the Zero 2. Let me know what you think. Uh, if uh, Once the optics start coming in, which is probably pretty soon, the optics ready. Uh, are you guys interested in the optics ready with like a threaded barrel? Or are you interested if uh, just in this? Uh, I could carry this, I think. Or um, it rides well in this holster. Or are you thinking, let's look at the pretty girl, or uh, if they come out with a 2C, A-Rex 0 2C for compact, gives you uh, about three quarters of that pinky. I don't know, kind of depends on recoil if it would be flying off or not. I think with a tight grip, it won it with the new 0 2 grip versus the 1. And the 1s can be found for you. If you have larger hands than me, longer fingers, um, the 1 are pretty good so anyway guys thumbs up share subscribe please always get there in the comments help fight the al algorithm stay strapped or get clapped and let me know what you think of this bad boy